hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you some some improvements some changes that i've done uh, uh, to mesh morpher in order to uh, support the unreal engine 5 i hope with unreal engine 5 at some point i will uh, have mesh morpher ready for runtime as well not only in the editor so the here we go i'm gonna show you some uh, experience uh, experiments uh, I've done uh, so far. So uh, first of all in uh, the editor if we select the mesh it kind of looks similar but now the tool is EMG tool. Everything is functional here. Uh, we can uh, uh, select uh, mesh sections uh, easier now. We can clear them as well. It looks better I think in my in my opinion so uh, yeah let's see the settings i've done some uh, changes to the settings as well now we have wireframe uh, color in the settings and we have also keyboard uh, shortcuts uh, we have right bracket for increasing uh, brush size and uh, left bracket for decreasing uh, brush size so if uh, we press the brackets we we'll see that uh, they change uh, uh, their size. Okay, and uh, and now uh, let's close uh, much more for for editor, and let's see how it looks at runtime. These are the first experiments I've done so far with the runtime. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So this is. Uh, a placeholder basically we, where we can select the, uh, the tool at runtime and now we have the same layout as in editor uh, it took me a little bit to uh, get this done but i think it's uh, worth the trouble uh, uh, we have symmetry and everything in place here as well we can do all the changes we want basically it's the editor mesh for ported to runtime this is what I've been working so far. I, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And dislike it if you dislike it.